a new pickup for you all. Let's talk about it. All right, so this is what we are talking about today. This is the Beretta 92X Centurion model. This is a nine millimeter. Very nice gun, I like it. Really aggressive grips. Nothing in the mag. Nothing in the chamber. These firearms are clear. This is a chrome line barrel. Now the Centurion model has the full size grip, but the barrel is a little bit shorter. So I believe this barrel is 4.25 inches long. So it is a little more easier to conceal. It does have some weight to it. This is the safety and the decocker model. So basically the hammer is pulled back. You pull this back, it decocks the firearm safely. And then it is also on safe after you do that. So you would have to, red is dead, you know, so. But the way this decocker works is right now it is on fire. And then when the hammer is pulled back, what happens is when you bring back that decocker, it rotates to cover the firing pin. So that is how the decocker works. So we'll see that in regular motion here. And there you go. A lot of people have a problem with a safety and a decocker. So if you do not like having the safety but you like the decocker there is a G model of this pistol or you can get the um, G model kit and that will take the safety off but you'll still have that decocker there so they did kind of Veretta did step up their game on the um, trigger pull a little bit on this firearm I don't have any problems with it I like it. I like it a lot. So, basically, let me, uh, okay, let's show you double action first. So this is double action. It's a very hard trigger pull, I'm not gonna lie, probably 10 pounds or so, but it is smooth all the way through. Now that's your double action. And then single action is pretty nice. There's a little creep right there, see? Quite a bit of creep, but doesn't bother me. But then once you get here, very crisp break. I mean, it kind of got that uh, 1911 feel when it breaks. Just bam. And then the reset is actually pretty amazing for Bretta. I mean, they did their job. That's it right there. Show that to you again. That's not bad. Let's see it one more time. It's not bad at all. For me, I like that. Uh, 
Uh, like I said, the grips are very aggressive. I mean, you're gonna have a quite a grip on this. Take down lever, slide lock. Magazine release is also sticks out more on this model. You do have checkering on the front of the grip and also on the back of the grip. And it's it's pretty good, man. It's pretty high. I said it's aggressive. Uh, dove sights. So on most Beretta models. The sights are fixed on this Centurion 92X model. The sights are dovetailed, so you can actually take those off and put some different ones on there. And this one is, of course, it's optic ready. So you can get a optic plate for a, a hollow sun or, or whatever you want there. Nice little sight picture there going on. <clears throat> I like the sights on this. I like the feel of it. I like the weight of it. The slide is just smooth, man. It's just very smooth. I really like that a lot. Um, it came with two 10 round mags. It came with two of those, but um, I had some of these, uh, had these for a while now. I had these 18 round Meg car mags now. These Meg uh, gar mags, these are really, really good mags. I really like them. I like them better than the uh, original Beretta mags. They kind of basically are, but a little different so i had a couple of these and these are them right here if you guys want them or whatever these are 18 round mags and the thing that i like about these 18 round mags by megar is they are flush fitting man 18 round mag And that is flush fitting. And that mag, I mean, man, it feels like it gets pulled in. You know what I mean? A Glock or anything else or whatever, a SIG, you kind of got to, you know, but I mean, it pops right out. And then it just, man, it like, it's sucked in. You know what I'm saying? So, I really like this weapon, man. I like it a lot. I think I'm gonna use it for a bedside gun. What I'm gonna do is probably put a light and an optic on it and use it just for my bedside gun. Good looking firearm. So I paid seven eighteen for this, I believe. I kind of got it on sale. They normally go for about seven ninety nine. Um, to be honest, Beretta was usually um, not my thing. You know, not my choice of uh, a weapon. But I don't know, man. It kind of just pulled me in lately just kind of pulled me in you know got the glocks got some sigs some fn stuff like that and it just kind of pulled me in and this new style with uh, more of a straighter grip 
handle. I do like that a lot. Um, I just wanted to get this, man. I just kind of felt like I needed to own a Beretta. You know what I'm saying? So, and then what made it worse is, like every single action movie, man, there's always this damn gun in the movie. I can't lie. There's always a damn Beretta 92 in there. I mean, that's not my choice why I got it, but I got it because I just kind of started liking the firearm, man. It's, just, it, it's very quality. I mean, you pick up a Glock and you pick up this and, and you notice the difference. Not to rag on Glock, you know what I mean? I like my Glocks, man. I'm a Glock dude. I trust Glock, but... This right here is quality, you know. So that is it. That is the Beretta 92X Centurion model. If you guys have any questions or would like to know anything else about this firearm, you're more than welcome to leave it down in the comments. This is just a cheap poster. Had this holster, had the holster and the um, 18 round mags for a long time, really. I think I bought a, bought the holster and the mags at a yard sale. I think it was like an estate sale or a yard sale or something like that. And just had them around. So yeah, that is it, you know. It's a, here's a size next to a FN Reflex Micro Carry. Not much of a difference. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of difference. It's a full-size gun, but look at that the handle. See? There's not much difference there. You see? So, I mean, don't get it twisted. You can still carry this bread comfortably. If you can handle the weight and all that. I mean, a wintertime gun? Yeah, man. I'd rock it. But like I said, I'm using it for my bedside. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe to the video. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.